We're here. Hi, everyone. Hi. Welcome to Stars in the House. I'm James Wesley. I'm Seth Rudetsky hyphen Wesley. No, Seth Rudetsky only. But we are married. Hi. Wait, I wrong hand. Hey. I was going to do the same thing. Still there got you it. Go. Okay. Um, so this is our daily show. We have a 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. every day, not just matinee days, every single day, 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. We're raising money for the Actors Fund for everyone. Who is served by the Actors Fund? I'll go. Singers. Actors. Ushers. Uh, the crew. Um, best boys. Uh, gaffers. Script consultants. Uh, lighting design. I don't know. There's so many people. Wigs. Anybody in the entertainment field and everyone's out of work. That's right. And if you go to actorsfund.org at the top of the website, you'll see this red banner. You click that. You can find all the information through the cover, but it also has an application for aid because people are needing, you know, everything from medicine to food, rent, utility, help, everything. Um, so, yeah, so if you need help, go to actorsfund.org. And if you'd like to, please God help, no matter how small, all their major fundraisers have been canceled. So not only do they need a ton more money, but now they're not making the money they were just going to regularly make from donations. So please go to actorsfund.org. James, let's read some donations. Yes, let's read some donations. This These are from Kay okay. Alice Settles. This is me! That's right. There are so many. I'm going to see how fast. Maybe you should be reading them. You, okay, you, I'm the you, you talk fast. Go. Go. Denise, California, 90. Margaret from Florida, 51. Gina, Oklahoma, 25. Kimberly, Oklahoma, 51. Amy, <laughs> company. Georgia, 25. Gabrielle from New York, $5. By the way, even $5. And I know it's like, oh, wasn't me. If everyone donated $5, the actor's phone would like, wouldn't need any more money. Yeah, right. So just $5 is a mozzing. Richard from HI, is that Hawaii? Oh, that, oh so this is oh, where so that's Keala. Yes, okay. I love it. You so may Richard not know Hawaii. all of, you might not know all of the abbreviations. Anyway, so. <laughs> I was a piano major. Deanna from New York, $25. Robert from California, $51. Wait a minute, you forgot Richard, Hawaii, $75. That's what I said. Richard oh, okay, go, okay, keep going. Okay, I'm gonna we're gonna watch it later on YouTube. We're gonna see if I <laughs> forgot it. All right, let's just say you're right. Uh, Maha from New York, $33. Catherine from Connecticut, $5. Sally from Texas, $25. Maya, $5 from Massachusetts. Brittany from California, $103. Jared from Iowa, $25. Ben from Missouri, $51. Anne from New Jersey, $51. Cheryl from Kansas, $250. This is all from Kayama's show. Kansas. Ruth from Georgia, 25. Clint from California, 100. Rebecca from Maryland, 25. I love the underscore, Seth. Eve from Virginia, 10. Susan from New Jersey, 51. Kimberly from Maine, 25. Oh my gosh, this list is not even exhaust. I can't do anymore. This is so many people. It's unbelievable. Hey, our friend Alicia's watching. Hi, Alicia. Set my clock. So I want to miss you guys today. Uh, Thank you. Um, so I wanted to, people have started to write in, I'm so excited, into stars in the house 2020 at Gmail. Yeah. And with questions and things that they want to address. And we can't get to everyone, but this one really stuck out. But, you know, we'll also write you back. If we can't get to you That's on a live right. show, we'll write you back with answers. You can ask questions <clears throat> of Dr. LaPook or of us or whatevs. Absolutely. So this is, hi, guys, writing to you from London, watching and enjoying the series each day. Such a light to raise everyone's spirits. Just wanted to say that it's not Broadway, just Broadway and the West End that have shut down. So many friends have had their amateur community shows canceled or postponed as well. After rehearsing for three months with their show families and the societies often facing large financial loss, it's been extremely devastating to many. While Actors Fund can help us, I was wondering if you'd do a small shout out for people to donate to their local community theaters and chat a bit, bit about how community and amateur theaters and why they're so important in fostering the stars of tomorrow. Thanks again for the series, Stuart James, Artistic Director, Center Stage, and that center with an RE, Stage London. Two things I wanna say, Go, almost everybody began doing high school theater, local theater, community theater, everybody on Broadway. And I and I ask this question all the time on my Sirius XM show. When you first made your Broadway debut, was there any difference between your high school show, your community theater show on Broadway? And most people say, my wig was better. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is really the same thing. So we all began there. So one of the main things you can do, if you had tickets for a show that was canceled, use that as a donation to the theater. Please don't ask for your money back. If you can spare it, It will. it's going to bankrupt these theaters and they'll never be able to come back. Right. And, and, and I would encourage, we've said it before, but the platform that we use, we're not paid spokesmen, no. is StreamYard.com. Go to StreamYard.com and, and do, do what we're doing, but do it in your community for your theater. And you can also do it on Facebook Live or other platforms, I'm sure. But StreamYard.com is really easy. 
So set that up right now. You're, every theater in the world who's impacted by this, which I would imagine would be everyone, should plan on doing their own fundraiser and doing their own performances. Everyone's got a musical director or supervisor in their theater. They can play the tracks. To make a recording. Do not get together, guys. Social distancing right, right now. Play the tracks. Or you can even find it on karaoke. I mean, that's what Kayala did. Kayala did. She literally sent you a karaoke track. She's of her own song. Yeah, so you can do it yourself. Broadway. Um, um, so listen, we want to bring on our doctor. We always normally we have um, Dr. Lapook, the CBS chief medical correspondent. He's doing the doctors right now on Sirius XM. So we're really excited. We have our actor, by the way, our personal doctor. Our personal doctor, and is Dr. Kent, uh, Jason Kent, and I said he is uh, he is the understudy slash standby for Dr. Lapook. Happy to do it. Hi, hi, hi Dr. Guys. Kent. <laughs> So what is, you know, we always keep getting this cutting edge medical information. Is there anything we need to know that's going on that's different or is everything status quo? What's up? Yeah, what's boots on the ground? Because I can see you're at work, right? Right, yes, absolutely. So, I mean, the numbers are rising. As we're testing more and more people, the numbers are rising. I think it's community spread. It's been community spread for a long time. You're cutting out a little bit. People affected, but I think 40%. Yeah. Dr. Ken, what's the connect? Get get near to the Wi-Fi queen. I don't quite know where you are. You know what? Why don't we go back to Dr. Ken? We'll go to um, our guest stars. Yeah, Dr. Ken, I'm gonna get you better quality. So clear, we're gonna come back, okay? Clear for talent, okay. as we say. Okay. Uh, but you, we didn't introduce, we know that Dr. Kent is on the show, but who's the other person? You can oh. just go ahead and introduce him right now. So. I'll actually bring him on. Okay, yes. so normally um, we like to have a Broadway star with good credits. <laughs> then we decided we want a Broadway star with a Tony Award. From now on, we only want Broadway stars with two Tony oh, Awards. Gosh. It's a high level. So from now on, Norbert Leo Butts is going to either two Tony Awards or three names. And Norbert has both. So Norbert <laughs> Leo Butts and two Tony Awards. Here he is. He's so brilliant. Hi, Mr. Norbert Leo Butts. Hi, guys. Hey. Hey. We want to always know where we're broadcasting from. Where are you right now? In your in basement? basement? I'm in my basement office studio. This is where I... This is where I make my, my music and work on my stuff and I've got my instruments and my piano here. It's which, you know, is gonna sound, it's gonna sound how it's gonna sound. It's gonna sound, right. me, always guys, awesome. what it sounds like. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. From all of us to you guys, I can't thank you enough. Giving us an opportunity to do something with our time and our talent and- Thanks Norbert. Thank hey you. Norbert, so we've been asking everyone what are you doing to stay? Hold on one second. We just oh, heard okay. we can't hear you so well, so just move it closer to your mouth. Someone okay. just texted me. So yeah, ooh, there look at go. that mug. Go. <laughs> so we've been asking- How about I just, I'll, just, I'll just project more. All right. Okay. <laughs> so we've been asking everyone, what are you doing to stay healthy and stay connected to those you love that aren't with you right now? Well, I'm, I'm so grateful. My oldest kid just uh, got her from the airport this morning. So all three of my kids are home. Thank God. She's been in um, on the West Coast in Seattle, kind of stuck there for a few days. Oh, gosh. So we're, we're all here. Um, you know, just all the simple things that we're, we're being told to do and really trying not to, like, succumb to that panic mode, you know, really trying to, like, you know, not hit Trader Joe's every day and, and fill up the card and just, um, you were, you know, we're, we're going to get through it. We're going to get, we're going to be okay. But man, the technology is amazing. Zoom, Skype. Uh, it's true. I'm a homebody like already. Right. Me, this is kind of an extension of kind of just like <laughs> my life, but um, yeah, you know, we're, we're, we're staying clean. Um, I do have three dogs. What's the word on animals, you guys? What's the word on dogs? Very good point. I got a letter from my vet. They said that, yes, an animal can possibly have it, but it's extremely unlikely. And it said extremely unlikely for any transfer to a person. Yeah. So basically, and we're going to talk to Bill Berloni, the animal trainer from Broadway. We're going to bring him on. But so far, I heard it's all, quote, unquote, good. Well, in we fact, have four let's dogs. bring on Dr. Ken. I think he's oh. um, available. Dr. Ken. Hi, Dr. Ken. Hi. How's that? So do you have any word on dogs? We heard that it's really okay with dogs. Yeah, I think there's no chance. I think there was one case that they thought maybe, but I don't think that's been proved. So I think animals are safe and protected right now. Ah, thank you so much. And if people yeah. people need medical help right now, you know, people are clogging up the emergency rooms in the hospitals. What should they be doing? You know, if you're sick, you should put on a mask and stay home for two weeks. If you have trouble breathing, those are the people who need to be in the emergency room right now. 
Um, so if it's minor, if you just want to get tested, there's other ways to get tested, but testing does not change treatment. Right. So it's I, testing is frustrating and people want to know. And I think everybody should be tested. So we get a handle on how extensive this is. But until yeah. they're readily available, <laughs> stay home for two weeks. All right, Dr. Kent, you'll be back. You'll be stand back. By. Um, Norbert, so I just have an important question. Is this the look or is this I'm in social distancing, so I'm just going to grow everything out? Wow. <laughs> I, I don't know how to answer that. The question itself is an insult. Um, mm -hmm. uh, we have time. You know, oh, okay. I actually, I'm in the middle. I, I, I was lucky to get out of Vancouver. I've been shooting a pilot up there and I had a, a, they want me in a pretty bushy beard. And so we're, you know, on hiatus indefinitely. And the bushy beard is like, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a dream catcher. I'll talk about germs getting stuck in the beard. So I shaved this down. <laughs> I figure, you know, less uh, follicles for Corona to, to sit on. Thank um, you. So, yeah, I do have to leave some because uh, I have to get back up there. And we, we were about two thirds of the way through f filming this wow. big, expensive pilot for NBC. And um, yeah, so hopefully, hopefully I, I was hoping we could just wrap it so I could get that paycheck, you know, right before they sent us home. <laughs> yeah, believe me. And that's why, P.S., everyone's going to the Actors Fund because ain't nobody working. Why we're doing this, yo. That's why we're doing it. Yep. Yeah. So listen, we got to start. I would like to have at least yeah. one song to begin with, and then we're going to go back to more Sassafras. So I'm going to get rid of this stream. Yeah, there you go. So if you're loving Norbert, and by the way, who doesn't, please donate anything, actorsfund.org. What are you gonna? Thanks. What's our first one? What's our first one? Well, I'm I'm gonna try this because I I was I I found this old song in an old songbook and it it spoke so much to the times that we're living in. So um, I'm gonna try this uh, song. You'll you'll recognize it, I think. All right, be near that damn mic. Can you hear me? Yes. Look for the silver. Where a cloud appears in the blue, remember somewhere the sun is shining, and so the right thing to do to make it shine for you. Oh, heart full of joy and gladness will always vanish the sadness and strife. So look for the silver lining. Try to find the sun. Ah, we just love it. Okay, I have to just say a couple of things right now because there's a great definition of your voice, which is a voice like rich, warm, malted whiskey. <laughs> and furthermore, I had to do a piano Not test. Days. <laughs> While you were belting, I had to test it. The silver line was a B flat. Oh my gosh. I don't check anymore. <laughs> I don't check. nervous. I just, I pop them out. And then I rely on people like you. It's like, good, well, well done, dude. You got to be flat still. Look who loves your voice, by the way, Mr. Brian Stokes Mitchell. Hi, Brian. Hey, hey normally a Brian Stokes. That was beautiful. Uh, How are you? Thank you so much. 
Hey, Brian Sucks Mitchell, give us a little update about the Actors Fund. I'll leave you both on the screen. Oh, man, there's so much to talk about. The Actors Fund is working hard. We have gotten more requests for help than we, I think, ever have, probably in our history in the same amount of days. Uh, and the Actors Fund, Joe Ben and Casa and the staff there are doing incredible work at uh, helping people out. Uh, the, the easiest, quickest thing to tell people would be go to actorsfund.org. Um, there's a place right on the screen at the very, very top that you can click if you need financial assistance. And there's all kinds of programs as well that we have that are continuing. The Actors Fund has closed the offices, so um, uh, everybody is not there, but they are available um, from their phones, like everybody else, like we're doing right now, the same kind of thing. Uh, and uh, there's also some uh, addiction and recovery groups that are still meeting with social distance between them because uh, a lot of people, you know, forget there's a lot of people that are under a lot of stress and a lot of strain right now. And that's one of the things that the, that the Actors Fund uh, does. And so keeping that uh, counseling going is is really, really important. Uh, we've also got the Friedman Health Clinic where Dr. Kent was uh, my my doctor and, and, and just I just love him so much uh, is as well. And um, as, as you I've probably announced uh, a few times on the show now, you know, everybody is saying uh, call in. That's the easiest thing to do uh, right now. If you think you have things, he'll let you know if you need to come in. Hey, Dr. Ken, I see you on the screen now, too. And and if you want to add anything to that, please do, because I don't want to I don't want to talk for you. You're you're there on the front lines. And first and foremost, thank you to you and all the healthcare workers that are spending your time, that are sacrificing your time with your family and friends right now. And, and you're showing up to, to help us all get through this. And thank you so much on behalf of the entire universe, I will say to you right now. Thank you. Yes, we're all here. We're working. We have doctors seeing patients. We also oh, have added- I can't hear you. Let's see on my thing. Let me see if I twist something that works. We've, we've Keep also talking. Added, I can't hear you, but I know they can. We've also added telehealth. So if you call, we can connect you with an account. You can talk to a doctor, you know, through their, through your phone and get the advice that you need. So we're here uh, to serve anybody's needs. Lots of anxiety right now. Lots of people worried about illness. We're here to talk about that and, and get people the help that they need. Again, we always forget what the number is. Uh, do you remember? Yeah. If not, I'm a fan right 212-930-7300. Yeah, Dr. Kent knew after last time to be ready. But 930 what? We changed our number last Friday too. So it's a new number. So it's good to get it out there. It's 212-930-7300. Posting it right now. Uh, there we go. Ah, look at that. Amazing. Okay, so Seth, we should have uh, Dr. Kent and Stokes standing by, and you want to go back to Yes, I'm going to go back to Mr. Norbert. Thank you, okay. Dr. Kent. Stay in a little bit. Bring it back, Mr. Butts. So, um, yeah, hi, back. So, Norbert Leo Butts. Um, yes. I want to just, I like to do little, you know, theatrical interviews, too. So, can you uh, just talk about how you got your first big Broadway break? Yes. Um, I, I, I was stupid lucky. I... Um, I moved to New York, um, on the older side, I was almost 29. I was just a couple of months away from my 29th birthday. And I moved right as rent had exploded at the tail end of, um, uh, fall of 96. And, um, I was playing a guitar and singing for a friend of mine's off broad, off, off, off Broadway, like uh, fundraiser for their, for their, uh, off Broadway production. And one of the publicists for Rent was in this very small audience and was like, dude, you need to get down to the public. There's this big open call. And um, and I lost his number, but I went down to the open call anyway. Just like you might remember back in the day when, you know, everyone like would camp out like on. How many people? There were hundreds. It was like an American Idol call. It really was. It was like this was just three months after they opened. This is July of 96. And um I get to the front of the line after waiting like six hours, seven, eight, I don't know, all night. And, and Bernie Telsey's assistant was like, oh, we were told to look out for this weird name. Um, <laughs> and they got me through the screening and got me right into Bernie. And I played, um, mommy told me, yes, she told me, I need girls like you. I did two tricks, uh, uh, no surrender. And what show is that from? It's not a show. It's from. I know, I know. Go on. 
It's from the rock band Sheet Drift. And so, um, yeah, and then I was fast tracked. And then I, um, you know, I think I did four or five callbacks right away because at that time, um, Anthony Rapp's mom was really, was really ill. And so he was missing a bunch of Adam um, was having vocal problems and had just by, been diagnosed with. Um, Wait, is that my phone? So sorry. Seth I think that's yours. Sorry, I got it. He's going to take it off. You continue, Norbert. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Adam had uh, been diagnosed with Lyme's disease. So they were out all the time and they were in bad, bad need of a swing for both lead guys. And um, I just had the right skills. So I was fast tracked. So I was in New York less than two months before I made my Broadway debut wow. at Roger with two days of rehearsal. I had two you learned days. all those lyrics? You know what? The, the callback process was like a month because everyone was scattered all over the country. So the Larsons had to come in and you know, the different producers had to come in. And by the time everybody got on board and, and you know, they all had equal say in the casting, I had memorized it all. You were learning I it was, as you went along. I knew every note, every word of that score. I didn't know where to go, um, but we had two blocking rehearsals. I met Daphne Rubin Vega at, at half hour before we went and did that show together. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> God. Now, Norbert, do you know why, and you may know because you're friends with Adam Pascal, do you know why the blocking for one song, Glory, was from the couch to standing up, from the couch to standing up? Um, look, I don't know why that was. I saw the show when it first opened. Adam Pascal looked really, really good in those plaid pants. Do you remember that? Yeah. Like, I'm straight, but like those pants made me cock my head. Do you know what I'm saying? It gave me a, a head cock. Um, okay. No pun intended. No pun Cut. intended. I will tell you why. So I think he looked so amazing because because Adam is actually from like the rock clubs. Right. So he did it organically. But then you have every other like actor guy like me having to do the thing like this. And you feel like a, you know, I felt like a just a dickhead for a long time. Um, <laughs> but uh, so, yeah, I think it was just this moment that he mm -hmm. could like walk across the stage and everyone could see how amazing he was. No, that's your sexualization. The true story is. Anna Pascal could not learn his lyrics, he told me. He had them taped to the coffee table and he would read them and the only lyric he knew was one song, Glory. So he was able to stand up and sing that and then he had to go back to the coffee table, literally all the way to Broadway. So finally a month <laughs> into the run, Michael was like, you cannot have those lyrics taped there anymore, but that is why the blocking is what it is. Now, I would like two things I wanna say right now. We think it's very important to keep in touch with friends while we're socially distant, and we want to bring one of your friends on, a surprise guest. Please welcome your pal, Will Chase. Hey! hey! Come on! Oh, it's you! Another Roger. Another Roger. I wore my blue plaid. Yeah, we're in blue plaid today. Hey, pal. See, Will was among the Rogers. Will was among the, the tall Rogers. Good butt Rogers. The, the tall Rogers with the good hair. And they really sold the pants. I was like the short, stocky Roger with the like barely although, being able to pass. Although your wicked pants, I have to say, the, we're going to talk about pants. pants. And I remember, I remember coming backstage and meeting you, and you said, because you, you 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 could have taken the elevator to your dressing room, but you said you took the stairs because of the pants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I needed to firm that shit up, man. I needed to keep that firm. Um, <laughs> You know, Men was, of a certain age. I was, you know, 33 when I played the uh, 34. <laughs> um, Those days are gone. How you doing, Will? I'm doing good. Listening to your story, I also was 28. I also waited in line. I, I waited in line to see you do the role. Wow. And then was, uh, I had an audition the next day. And uh, and uh, and one of my favorite stories ever is my first time on his mark which I can't remember if you ever remember this story, but it was my first time on his mark and I barely knew the theography. And um, there's a moment at the end where we do, uh, uh, you know, we're not gonna, we do these walks forward. <laughs> and I didn't know that choreography. So I started making fun of Norbert. I started doing like a little jig and Norbert Butts, oh, this is my, you know, my Broadway debut. He pushes me <laughs> like a true, like a true, safe space friend. He pushes me almost I over. because I, I, I thought he was doing a dance, so I started doing that, and yeah. he pushed me. Anyway, hi. You mean, like, you mean like shove with love, like he was trying to help you? It was a love sure. shove. It was a love, a love shove. shove. <laughs> Is that when you guys became pals doing Rent together? We did, and Will yeah. and I, um, we were sort of similar in that show in that we were both 
youngish, but we married young and had like kids young. So mm -hmm. we were like, and then got divorced young. Yes, yes, yeah. We sort of been on the same trajectory. Brothers. But yeah. when I was in my first year of rent, um, I had a, I had a, a newborn. Yeah. So you know, it was like feedings and up all night, and then trying to do the rock and roll thing. Well, everyone else in the cast who was like 23, 24, 25, you know, rolling on E, going out yeah, at night, they're, you know, hitting tabs and going to the clubs. And um, oh, sorry, not rolling on E, not rolling on E. I know we got E, e is, um, uh, yeah, Ebola. No, not Ebola. Wait, <laughs> I'm e getting is, you off this live stream. Great. <laughs> hey, Will, where are, you, where are you broadcasting from? Everyone wants to know. I'm in lovely Los Angeles. You have a question. We have questions on the side. Will, any favorite moments of Edwin Drood? Oh, I'm glad this is like, this is Norbert's gig, but now it's become about me. Sorry. <laughs> um, more time. Any favorite time. moments? Just that cast, being on stage with that cast. I mean, that cast was crazy funny. So that's my, yeah. Cheetah Rivera, man. Now, Will, you're going to come back with a certain Ingrid Michaelson. Am I correct? I am. We're going to do it. Ingrid's a little under the weather. Don't worry. No COVID-19, we think. Oh, good. Um, but we're going to come back and, you know, do some Ingrid stuff. Yeah. And some, Great. you know, whatever. Your sound quality is amazing. Keep it. All right, Willie, you'll be back. Thank you for checking in. I will. See you soon. Love you. Um, okay, so wait. See, there goes the family rating. Can't talk about <laughs> E. Not cool. I didn't it. No, I know. No, you still got it going on. So, Norbs, um, we want another song. I still want you a little bit closer to the mic when you sing. Will's quality was amazing. You're still a little distant. All right. I'll try this. And by the way, after this song, you have to tell us a story about when they asked you to bring your book to the audition. All right, I will. <laughs> all right, this is a song a lot of people know. I've been sitting home learning like all my favorite singer songwriters, like the great songs that you're like, I know I can play that. I just got to sit down and learn it. So um, I've been picking like a, a favorite songwriter of the week and trying to like learn. So I had like a Bruce Springsteen couple of days and a Tom Waits couple of days. And, uh, and I love Joni Mitchell, and so... Yes! Uh, I 
but still be all my feet. Yeah, barely, baby. I met a woman, she had a mouth like yours. She knew your devils and your demons, and she said, Go to her, stay with her, oh, but be prepared to bleed. You're in my blood. this piano i'm like can you see this the um camera yes <laughs> but it's so good like okay the comments we've been getting which one i mean this i can't one right tell here. you I, like right here look at this norbert did i know i needed norbert leo butt singing a case of you no i did not <laughs> is norbert leo butt singing a case of you all i needed yes it is that was really beautiful yeah and so soothing, and you need to all come out of your soothed coma right now. Hold on, I want to read some- To uh, hear the donations. Yeah, the donations. And then so to this is just donating. a few. So remember, you go to actorsfund.org, whatever you can give is great. We understand the times that we're in. But this is just a few that have come in while Norbert's been on with us. <clears throat> Jennifer from California, $25. Heather from New York, $10. Jim from Georgia, $50. Wow. Claudia from California, $10. Jeremy from Massachusetts, ten dollars, and Margaret from Philadelphia, thirty-five dollars. So thank all of you. Thank you guys for doing this. And Norbs, well, first I want to ask him before I bring someone on, why the Leo? Because I can't imagine there's another Norbert Butts in Equity. Let's be honest. Um, actually, there is, or there was when I was younger. My dad, his name is Norbert Butts. We have the same name. I know. I have seven brothers. I'm one of eleven. Wow. And my brothers are Steve, Mike. John, Tom, Tony, Tim, and Jim. I'm not the firstborn. I was the seventh born, but I was the first kid that my dad was in the hospital room for. Oh. So he said, can we please name this one Norbert? My mother was like, hell no, I'm not <laughs> a baby. What are you kidding? He's going to get his ass kicked up and down and back around. And he said, oh, please. It was so beautiful. And she relented. And so she named, I know. Who would name a baby Norbert? Isn't it? I. <laughs> It, no, it's all I like objectively. I can like I can step outside of it and be like, what the what the f? You know, like it's. Mm -hmm. Um. So my dad and I have different middle names, but my dad was a dancer when he was a kid. He did like Muni Opera. I know he was a trained dancer, and then wow. he started, like in high school and became a a big jock and went to the Marines. But um, he's remained a great dancer his whole life, and um, uh. Mm -hmm our mail and our credit started getting, there was nothing to differentiate our names. Um, uh, and I, like I went to purchase my first apartment or whatever, every time it was a pain in the ass. So I had to use something for legal purposes to, to I'm not this man. Um, and um, my dad died three years ago and it's still, you know, uh, it, sometimes if I'm applying for, you know, something uh, with a bank or a loan or something, uh, they ask me, all these questions about my, my dad. I'm like, that's not me. So it's for my dad. I, I remember once when when I was playing in Wicked and your, I guess your neck was out, you wrote a letter to the cast saying, I'm gonna be back. And you signed a Norbert Leo Butts. Then you wrote dot, dot, dot. Every once in a while I see my name and I realize how bizarre and crazy it is. <laughs> <laughs> I was in, uh, I got my first Tony nomination for Thou Shalt Not. Remember Thou Shalt Not? Yes, I do. I, yeah. Okay, go on. You were You were very good. 
Thank you. Um, that was a crazy night. I, uh, uh, my, some friends of mine, we, were, we celebrated beforehand at a Marriott hotel nearby. And I got a little tipsy and my manager told me at the time, nobody knew who I was. I didn't have a, my agent, I didn't have a manager. She said, make sure you do the red carpet. I said, got it, do the red carpet. So I'm walking toward um, Radio City and on the side entrance where the kitchen entrance is, there's a red like restaurant. Yeah carpet i thought that was the red carpet and i went into the back entrance of radio i swear to god radio city music hall <laughs> got in and i'm like i t i called her i'm like i did the red carpet <laughs> no one no one was there no one was there um the night was pretty disastrous it started there i didn't win um but i'll never forget mary louise parker did our category and she said my name and it was the first time that, look, I had no ambition to like to do Broadway. I wanted to do like, you know, I don't know, like, uh, you know, serious like theater, drama, you know, and, and movies. And I never thought my name would be spoken out loud at radio. And when I heard it, I thought, oh, my God, that's the worst name. <laughs> and, and, like I heard it for the first time. Um, mm. I asked my nine year old the other day, I said, I said, Gigi, is it too late to change my name? She said, yeah, daddy. It's too late. She says, you're kind of famous. You're not famous like Kristen Chenoweth, but you're kind of famous. <laughs> Children are truth tellers. <laughs> Norbs, yet again, we believe everyone has to reach out. Dr. John LaPook says we should call three people per day to reach out. We have another one of your pals here saying hey to you. Do you recognize Mr. John Oh Lipka? my God! Mobbit! Mobbit! Hello, dearest. He's on mute. Wait, John, you. somehow you you were on for five seconds. First of all, stop moving. Norbert, right. I'll do his voice. Norbert. Hold Let's... on. How did you get muted? You muted yourself, John Lithgow. Wait, <laughs> this got... is a bad silent movie. <laughs> Not since Charlie Chaplin spoke at the Oscars. Hold on. I didn't mute you, so wait. hold on. John Lithgow. Norbert. Norbert, where's Norbert Butts? <laughs> That's what John used to call me. Every night he'd come, we we're at the Imperial Theater. He, he had the, the good dressing room by the stage door and that's up on the third floor. But he would walk those three steps, those three flights every night and his booming voice walking toward my dressing room, he'd go, where's my bit? Where's my bit? <laughs> said, okay, John, I'm here, John. I'm here, I'm gonna re, I'm gonna re-invite you, John, because something the hell happened with your microphone, right? Because I can't hear you. Okay, I'm going to reinvite you. I'm removing you from the stream. Bizarre. <laughs> hey, in the meantime, while you're trying to get while you're trying to to get John back, Seth, yeah. there's a few questions that came up, Norbert, for you. So how about this right here? This is a great question. How long have you been playing all the instruments you play, and do you have tips for people who want to learn um, from Elaine? I hi Elaine. I I started as a kid, so it, um, I'm. We, you know, we did. We had piano in my house, and my older brothers and sisters played, and we just all kind of taught each other. Um, my my grandfather on my my mom's side was a was a multi instrumentalist, and we've all just um, there's always been instruments around. And when you find out when there are things just sitting around your house all the time, just out of boredom, you kind of you kind of pick it up. So interestingly, I was a much better piano guitar player when I was like way younger, when I was like in high school and college, than I am than I am now, although this, this quarantine has given me lots of practice time. I do not consider myself an instrumentalist, but um, uh, yeah, I think being exposed to it super, super young. There are so many great online courses you can take for guitar. There's True Fire. There's a, a ton of apps for piano that are super easy to do. This is um, a good time to do it. It's a great time to do it. Yeah. Hey, here's, yeah. here's another question, Norbert. I don't know if you're taking questions, but Norbert, how did you land Fiero and Wicked? Yeah. Um, Rosie, I, I auditioned, um, they, I was doing last five years and I got a script sent to me and I had just finished the novel, ironically, which hardly anybody has read. But when I was doing rent, Marcy Harriel, who was playing Mimi opposite me, she had read the book and she was like, you got to read this. And it took me a while to get into it. And then I really got hooked. It's very Tolkien-esque. It's, it's like densely, um, uh, fantasy. Um, 
And then when I got the script, I was like, the character was so different. I'm like, I can't, this is not me. They need like a, a super like studly. I usually do the character parts, you know, and like the funny and the weird and the sick guys and the perverts. Um, that's what I usually, let me hear it. Johnny. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. There's the mellifluous. What's the word? Mellifluous. Mellifluous is the word. Yeah. How are I, you, my dear man? <laughs> I'm doing so good. How are you doing? What are we going to do without fine. a baseball? What are we going to do without a baseball season, man? I mean, well, listen, and Liverpool and, and basketball, LeBron James. Hold on. Hold on. Seth, you had to be sassy. Hold on. Hold Jeez. on. Wait. Wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I had to be sassy about the baseball season. All right, talk about that for one minute. That's all you're going to get for that. Go. All right. Okay. <laughs> Enough about sports. No, I just, uh, I, I think, um, how's Michelle? How are the girls? Everybody's She's good. Home. Everyone's good. I got my oldest home last night from, from Washington State. I got all three of my kids here. Everyone's healthy. Um, oh, we're hunkered down, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're at home in Westwood, just Mary and me. Phoebe's in Tucson. She's a midwife there. So I knew she was a midwife, yeah. She's on the front line, so we get a little nervous, but she tells us not to worry about a thing. And and Nate is down downtown in New York. Is he's, he still at the restaurant? Yeah. You know, his restaurant has had to close, but he's dashing around on his Vespa delivering uh, wine and cocktails to people. <laughs> you know, he's, <laughs> he's created his own uh, black market, you know. <laughs> he does what he does. He's doing what he does. Like best. father, like son. Yes. And Ian is teaching his kids. He's homeschooling his kids up there, yeah. out there in Long Beach on Long Island. Everybody's fine. Uh, and and it's amazing how, because of technology, even though I've demonstrated how inept I am with it. That could have been him. I feel like we're connecting more intimately than ever with I all agree. our friends. It's extraordinary. Yeah. We see, and, we've all uh, come to we've all come to realize how precious we are to each yeah. other. I yeah. got a text from I got a text from Kelly this morning. Oh, uh -huh. Beth, Beth is doing a concert with Norbert today online, and he wants and, and it's like it was the first I'd heard from Kelly in weeks. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, anyway, it's just beautiful to see you. I'm so glad you're well and you're sound. You too, as Johnny. Good as ever. And let me just say since. Uh, pretend you're not here. This is for everybody else who's watching Norbert Leo Butts. You know, moments like this, you think about the people who are precious to you. And if you're an actor, you think of all your great partners. And I have had a, a lucky, lucky life. This is, of course, all about me. You know, my various partners, I've worked with mm, Claire Foy, Jane Curtin, Fred Molina, B.D. Wong. These are my great partnerships, Kelly and Brian in Sweet Smell of Success. But there was never anything like my year and a half with Norbert Leo Butts. If I could take all the laughter and applause that you and I heard up on stage and roll it into a joint that I could just toke on every morning for the rest of my life, I'd be all set. I love Why? you. I just love you and everybody loves you you know you're, you're just anyway that so that's all i'm gonna say that's all the smoke i'm gonna blow up your ass but that smoke <laughs> is is laughter and applause <laughs> i love you too you know i do okay. you know i do hey johnny you're gonna yeah. come back you're gonna come back for a real show but let's answer this bizarre question yeah oh my god you were a huge part of my childhood i have a question do big kids still scare the heck out of you what does that mean <laughs> no well, fortunately, I grew up to be bigger than anybody. Worst luck. So I, I'm not scared. And this, and this fucking cor coronavirus, it doesn't scare me. Things are going to get much worse, and then they're going to get much, much better. And I just keep, I cling that to my heart, and I just sit here with my dear wife Mary. Mm. And to tell you the truth, we've had one of the great weeks of our lives, just uh, alone in our own home and connecting with people any way we can. And this is one of the best. I'm going to remember this moment forever. Uh -huh. Norbert, you made me cry. Go back to entertaining I love you. people. Get back to entertaining people. Nobody does it like you. All right, everyone watching, donate actorsfund.org in honor of these wonderful actors. Hey, John, you'll come back another time, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. I will. You're going to sing. I'll make everybody cringe when I sing. Yes. <laughs> we love you. No. All right. We're going to talk to you listen, soon. Listen to the ballad at the end of Dirty Rotten Scoundrels on the record. He's gorgeous on that. He's it's oh. beautiful. 
And by the way, also um for Susan in um Sweet Smile Success. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh God, yeah. I know you remember hope. Seth. Do you remember interviewing me and Kelly back in who, when nobody even knew who she was? She was a newcomer, and you sassed me, and I loved it. I brought him on stage. I said John Lithgow, and he said it's just go. And I said, then why the hell is there a W in your name? And you said, why are we in rainbow? That's right. I was busted. But I tell everybody, I tell everybody, pronounce it any way you like, as long as it's not Kelsey Grammer. <laughs> okay. Off you go, everybody. All right. Bye we love you, John. Let's go. Hey, um, Norbert, someone had a question. First of all, that was amazing. Oh, my God. That was great. That, um, that choked up, man. I love that. I love that human. Yeah. Someone had a question about your amazing show, which also freaked me the hell out. Bloodline. Yeah. God, that show was a creep fest, but I loved it. What was it like filming that and how hot was it? You were in the Everglades, right? Yeah, basically. So we were we were way down in the Florida Keys, which are, you know, south of Miami, that little strip of islands. Um, it was it, it was an incredible, it was one of the incredible, credible opportunities of my life. The show was really difficult, like the subject matter, yeah, the the scenes, the hours, the heat, the bugs. Uh, first time in my life, I woke up with a scorpion next to my bed. Um, what the? And I had a crocodile living under my dock. Yeah, man. I, oh I became fearless out there in those waters, man. I because uh, I'm a swimmer, and so I'd be out in the bay. It was no big deal with nerf sharks and barracuda swimming all around them. Um, I got pretty brave in those waters, um, but it was a really, really amazing time. My my wife and my girls spent a lot of time down there oh. with me, and um, and frankly, it was a really isolating time too. It was a little bit, uh, you know, it's the middle of nowhere down there. Um, it's really crowded in the winter when the snowbirds come down, but like the rest, like eight, seven months out of the year, it's it's really empty until you get to Key West where we were was in the middle, which was just, to go. so yeah, man, it was actually, I bought this piano to have in my, my house down there. Um, and music was like, you know, it's that thing for me. That's always been when I'm feeling like um, I'm getting disconnected from, from my own, I don't know, humanness or something. Mm -hmm. Um, or when I'm feeling panicky, music's always calmed me down. It's always been a way to uh, just get that, so you know what I mean, that layer of the heebie-jeebies off of me. And um, and then other people dig it too. And you're like, oh my God, this is the most amazing thing in the world. So, um, but it was a, an incredible experience, yeah. We're so obsessed with your voice. My sister Nancy and I are so obsessed with your voice. She was just saying you practice all of your hard R's in this studio. So can you give us um, another song? And then after this, you've got to tell me the, the audition book story because I'm so obsessed with it. All right. Well, I was going to do this <clears throat> big, heavy thing from... Um, uh, oh, yes, from um, Bridges. Yes, but uh, it's really, really long. So I was thinking maybe I'll, I'll do this shorter song. That's, um, that's, should I do the Bridges? Um, yeah. You know, by the way... Do, it, do both. Who cares? We're not going anywhere. We're just sitting in our damn houses. We want money. This one's really hard. <laughs> okay. Here goes. I'm going to try okay. this. I, was, I learned this song a couple of weeks ago because I was supposed to do it as a duet with Eden Espinosa, who I met during rent. We've been friends a long time. Um, actually, Wicked we met. Um, All right. And we were going to sing this together, and uh, it, it got canceled. So, um, so I'm going to try it now. But it's really right. hard. Here it goes. <laughs> For the first time, here we know. For the first time in my life, I am not outside the moment. With the camera in between me and the world I think I know. For the first time in my life, I am somehow part of something. You surround me, you connect me. And I think I can't let go. For the first time in my life, you have opened up a channel. There is nothing to contain us. We are joined and we are free. For the first time in my life, oh my God, I was almost in key. First time in my life, I am risking something precious. I am asking you, Francesca, come with me. I can't tell you I know what the future will be. Who knows? 
knows anything. I just look at those eyes. You got so much to see. Let me show you there's crowds and camels in the hillsides to climb. All I know is in all of the time from man's first breath to God's last warming, you and I are just one second spinning by just one second you and I have just one second and the bill I don't need to be rich, I don't need something new. All I need, all I've needed my whole life was you. Look at me, you were born with a wanderer's soul. This is how you begin to be whole. The stars keep burning, worlds keep turning, and you and I have just one second spinning by one split second. You and I. to go. I'll stop there. We don't need to do I was going to say one verse, but all right, I accept it. Are we getting then a second song, please? Yes, I will try a second song. I, I learned this song for a benefit for an organization that I fundraised for called the Angel Band Project. And um, a friend of mine, we were looking for, for tunes to do that were sort of, um, that sort of spoke to the time that we're living in. It's really, really divisive time. I had never heard this tune before. It's by a country singer named Marin Morris. And um, it's just the most, the lyrics of this song are so perfect for this moment. Hey Norbert, while you're taking a drink, I'm gonna read the next batch of people who have um, given. Thank you. Um, before you sing the next and our Don't last forget, song for the day, actorsfund.org. It's not just for actors. It's anybody in the business paying things like their rent, their medical bills, all over the country. Everybody, community theater, everybody can benefit from the Actors Fund. Right. So this is a second batch. Uh, <laughs> and Barbara from Pennsylvania, thank you for uh, donating twenty-five dollars. Brooks from Virginia, a hundred dollars. Daniel from California, twenty dollars. Eliza from Maryland, twenty dollars. Liza. Thank you, Liza. Exactly. <laughs> Bob from California, 50. Barbara from Pennsylvania, $25. Danny from California, $50. I was going to say, those those are your um, MC poses from Cabaret. Uh, yes. <laughs> Shannon from Texas, $25. Oh, Sheila yeah. from Calgary, $50. Uh, Giselle from New York, 85. Andrea from Maryland, 100. And Seth, you had a video or something, didn't you? Speaking of only first names. Do you want to do this? Up. I think it is. When you, when we, we'll take a second. Hold on. Let, let David text me to show how to do it. Okay. We'll do, we'll do it another time. We'll have it for tonight's show. But anyway, that's those are the second batch of people, just a sampling. Actorsfund.org. Okay, so Norbert, this is a song by who again? What's her name? A, a country singer named Marin Morris. Um, and she recorded this with Vince Gill, who's a, a brilliant, brilliant uh, country singer-songwriter. And I just love this song. It's called Dear Hate. <laughs> Dear Hey, saw you on the news today. Like a shot that takes my breath away, you fall like rain, cover us in drops of pain. I don't know how this world keeps spinning round and round. Dear Hey, 
Boy, you sure are colorblind. Your kiss is the cruelest kind. You can poison any mind. Just look at mine. Don't know how this world keeps spinning round and round. You were there in the garden like a snake in the grass. I see you every morning staring through the looking glass. You whisper down through history and echo through these halls. I'm here to tell you love's gonna conquer all. Dear Hey, you were smiling on that Selma Bridge in Dallas when that bullet hit and Jackie cried. You pulled those towers from the sky, even in our darkest night. The world keeps spinning round. You were there in the garden like a snake in the grass. I see you every morning staring through my looking glass. You whisper down through history, you echo through these halls. I'm here to tell you love's gonna conquer all. Dear love, just when I thought you'd given up, you were there in the garden when I ran from your voice. I hear you every morning through the chaos and the noise. You still whisper down to history, you echo through these halls. I'm here to tell you love. I'm here to tell you love. I'm here to tell you love's gonna conquer all. Dear hey. Dear Hey, Norbs, you're so I great. I'm so out of tune, but thank you for uh, uh, indulging me. <laughs> it's amazing. We want to say goodbye to you and, of course, to our fabulous Dr. Kent. Um, we love that people are joining. We love you doing this. Norbert, you know, this can be going on for a while. So we're a hundred percent bringing you back. So keep learning those singer songwriter songs. Bring me back. And, and you could be a surprise up. guest, Norbert, for someone else. Oh yeah. You could be the surprise guest. One of your we other friends. Say who. We oh, say yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys call me. I'm here, man. I love actors fund. I love you guys. Thank you for your service. We really appreciate it. Thank you. And Dr. Kent, any last things we should know? Thank you so much. So beautiful. 80% of people infected in China were infected by people who had no symptoms. So that's the other reason to, uh, you know, right. they're all home right now because uh, community spread is so is so prevalent right now. So stay right. safe. This is a great reason to stay home. We've got these shows twice a day, 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern. And this show we just did with Norbert is gonna live on YouTube. So and send so it to all your it. friends. Yeah, share it to all your friends. All right, Thank Dr. Kent, Norbert, we love you. Thank you so much for doing this. All right, Thanks. you everyone at eight. And Patrick Wilson is on at eight o'clock. Patrick Wilson tonight, eight p.m. Eastern. Tomorrow, Audra and Kristen Chenna with your Glinda and Will Swenson and Will Swenson. Oh my God, Audra, Will, Kristen. Sunday is Liz Calloway, Len Cariou, Jason Alexander's birthday on Sunday. birthday, Jason Alexander. Everyone. All right, talk to you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and broadcast. Bye.